And welcome to our special show to celebrate the inaugural National Rick Stein Day. So to start things off, Ooh. let's all say see throughout the show but we've invited musician Loyal Karner here because he's told us on previous occasions <laughs> that he's a bit of a super fan more of that a little bit later on now let's properly introduce the man himself he first burst onto our screens nearly 40 years ago he's never been off them he's made countless TV series he's travelled across the world showcasing the wealth of food on offer in almost every corner of the globe and if that wasn't enough he celebrated his beloved Cornwall and built a massive food empire in the nicknamed town of Padstein good morning everyone Nice to have you here. Now, Rick, uh, there's, there's kind of a day for everything. Don't yes. get ahead of yourself. There's, oh, no. there's a day for margaritas. There's a day for hating coriander. Right. There's even a national chocolate-covered nuts day. Dawn, oh. Oh. really. Happy Rick Stein Day. Uh, there'll be more from Dawn a little later on in the show and a few more surprises along the way. Now, as I'm sure you're aware, this is a very sad week uh, because we lost somebody very dear to the show and to the nation, Dave Myers, who was one half of the Hairy Bikers, along with Psy King. They've been on this show many times over the last 18 years and even hosted it a few times. Now, we were privileged to have Dave back in the studio last October after he was recovering from his latest round of treatment. He then bravely got back on his bike and continued with his TV life with Psy, but sadly, his cancer took us from us far too soon. Uh, we hope to stage a full tribute show for Dave in due course, but for now, here's a little montage to remind you of why we all loved him so very much. Good morning, I'm Cy King. And I'm Dave Myers. We're the Hairy Bikers. And, and this, this is Saturday Kitchen Live. How did you get from Top of the Pops makeup artist to becoming a chef? We haven't got long enough. No. <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly, we certainly haven't slept our way to the top. No, no, no. Right, so the idea is that you... Flip it up <laughs> and shake it. Oh, definitely come out. Go on, Dave, go on. Nice. Some years ago, kid, we did that Kent Cobnut cake. Yeah. It was drier than a camel's hoof. <laughs> <laughs> Trust us to do something like this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stupid. We could have done sandwiches or something. Oh. Ready? Don't cry for me, Argentina. The truth is, I never left you. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> the thing is, though, it's less about live telly, is it? When you get it wrong, there's nobody to edit it out. Now, if it doesn't come out the first time, yes. you just slide the knife <laughs> What you do? Just put the knife Release the pressure. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. Now, look at that. Oh. Oh. So, <laughs> you've got to cool that down really quite quickly because that is the thickening for the cream yeah. with the coffee. <laughs> We've had a great yeah. time today. <laughs> oh, sorry, with dear blocking me eye out. And we've enjoyed the show immensely. Bye for that. Of course. This amazing double act will live on forever here in our film segments. Now, Dave often said that Rick Stein was his favourite chef, and being the party man that he was, he would have relished being part of the celebration for Rick today. So, let's carry Dave in our hearts and get on with today's show. And on that note, Jack, uh, you've got some very funny, <laughs> very funny stories about your dad. Good morning, we've gathered an all-star culinary cast and one of my favourite ever comedians. It's a recipe for an unforgettable show. This is Saturday Kitchen Live. Good morning, welcome to the show. We've got a sensational menu that'll have your taste buds tingling, delivered by the delightful Donna Hay, the lovable hairy bikers, and the confectionery connoisseur Paul A. Young, and Ollie Smith's making sure we've got the best sips to sup. Say that after a few drinks. Uh, now, our special guest today is the comedy icon behind some of the greatest characters in the history of TV. Although, in my humble opinion, his best performance is fishing with Bob Mortimer. Please welcome the brilliant Paul Whitehouse. Yay! Yay! Amazing. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> heckling already. One of the greatest shows on Just TV. Just got Brilliant. everything. One of one. Well, there's that one of this, course, obviously. I mean, you know, that's... Uh... <laughs> But oh, you, well, you enjoy you making it, presumably. No, I hate every second of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, hey, but, uh, we've had to change you know, <laughs> and become better people. Uh, Donna, you've worked your magic with not one but two dishes. I haven't, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Full admittance. Full control mm -hmm. over that one. Uh, Cy and Dave, you've got something comforting for us? Yes, we have. We've, got, we've gone sticky. We've gone comfort sticky. Okay. Sticky! Sticky Sesh food! Sticky! Sticky food, ladies! Like. Szechuan lamb bow bun. Nice. With carrots. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Lovely impact with the carrots. Very necessary. 
Yeah. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> yeah, but they get lost. They get lost in the sea. Well, they will do. There'll be a spring onion on top as well. It's very sort of aromatics. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, <laughs> love that. Uh, right, still to come, Paul A. Young's making us play a game of trick or treat that'll leave your taste buds bewitched. He's making Halloween lollipops with a wicked twist. And will you vote for Paul's Food Heaven, my Japanese-inspired miso card with fragrant smoked mackerel broth? Have your say. Right, boys. Bow buns. Stick it oh, yes. yes, it's us. It's we, us. We've got a lot going on here. Yes, we have. Oh, you keep talking about carrots. They're already done. Yeah, they are. <laughs> no, I don't, that, that's meant to be under the table. <laughs> oh, that's a carrot, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, how do we do this? I've got to put the bow buns on to steam. Now, these are bought bow buns. Yep. But if you bought our new book, there's a recipe in the back, how to make your own, which are superior. OK. But for now, these is will that, do. Is that a tongue twister? You bought bow, bow <laughs> buns. I thought they were easy to do. I can help my sister. Not easy. Right, we just put them onto steam. So this is this is modern day comfort food. Yes. Yes, it is. Because the book's not all about stews and yeah, yeah. sausage castles, or they yeah. do have a place in humanity. Absolutely. Humanity, yeah. But, um, <laughs> and all I'm doing is I'm putting garlic and um, fresh garlic and <laughs> juice. Okay. Check, check it. Check it after three, just yep. to see. But yeah. Okay. I'm just going to grind. They're like anesthetic, aren't yeah, they? That's great. Make yeah. your face go down. Yeah. They do, don't they? There's yeah. that effervescence to them and tingling. <laughs> so the thing is, even the first food's dreadful, you yeah, don't you can't know. Taste it. Yeah. yeah. It's a secret weapon that was. <laughs> yeah, what would we do? <laughs> that and an onion. Yeah. I went off onions for a long time. Well, it's like now if you go to a restaurant and soup, why is it always carrot coriander? Why is it always carrot and orange for the vegetarians? Where's beef bone broth gone? Well, ramen. But anyway, carrot to get older. So how you been? How you keeping? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Yeah, I'm having a lovely well. time. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, we're building up for Christmas. We've been filming. We're You've back been on busy, the bikes. Huh? You're not. You're not stopping. You're not slowing down. Nah, nah, nah. Keep pushing through. Yeah, no, yeah. You've got more energy than me. Good for you. You know. Yeah. But well, then again, most people have got more. Energy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You. You. What's the word? Marsupial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> right, where was I? Right, so I've got. So what else is in there? Cumin. Yep. Five spice powder, chilli powder. Okay. Do you know what a marsupial is? <laughs> is it a creature that sleeps all the time? No. Oh. No, it gives birth to a, a live young that then lives in a pouch. <laughs> That's a marsupial. <laughs> you haven't done that, have you? <laughs> <laughs> Only on a Thursday afternoon. <laughs> now, Paul, yeah. there's some... Rice wine vinegar goes in. <laughs> I didn't want to pick up on that. I'm glad Paul. Oh, no. <laughs> the thing is, though, it's, that's about live telly, is it? When you get it wrong, there's nobody to edit it out. <laughs> makes it fun. Oh, oh yeah. Mon right, so let's, let's talk about your new book. Yeah, oh, Ollie, yeah. Ollie, you got a copy over there? Yeah, I certainly have. Uh, Ultimate comfort food. Exactly that. And what I love about it is it has comfort food from so many different backgrounds. It's not just the old kind of stews and pies. Yeah. yeah. You got here a lovely one, uh, Filipino noodles, which yeah. has a lovely... Spent a fair time there. And uh, to get my appetite back, the nurses have been bringing stuff in, and nurses from all over the world. And there's a lovely... Uh, Filipino, it was lovely nurses, there's too many yeah. to mention. But it's called Gia, and she used to bring me pancit in, which is like a Filipino national dish. It's quite a dry dish with noodles, mm. but it was so comforting. Mm. So it's our recipe, but the inspiration is from that. Yeah. And the comfort I got from those noodles was, it's a fantastic dish. And all the way along, going back to my childhood as well, mm. the memories are there, but you know, and some modern ones as well. Like bao buns, you know, they, they are comfy. The, you know, the taste, I think like eating pillows, but they're okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, you're not selling this, dude. You're not selling it. <laughs> For this, I've got some mirin rice wine. Yep. Some more vinegar. Yep. Or some vinegar. Some honey. Uh-huh. It's obviously nice and runny. And I want a bit more. Oh, yeah, it's very yeah. personal. I mean, we started yeah, out with 200 ideas, didn't we? Yeah. And we whittled it down, but when you start talking about comfort food, people have got their own loves and passions, and... Oh, it's been, been good fun. Yeah. Ooh. And um, I'm just going to... So, this is the good bit. This is the crispy bit. So, we put the lamb in to a hot pan. Right. And we're just going to caramelise that a little bit. All those... Oh, well, no, bit. we're only halfway there, yeah, Matt. Can I, can I do that? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Really Get in. That was delicious. So the lamb. I want to take that in there. And then... Yeah, the crackle. We put that in Lovely there. soup. And the div made. Now I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> um, now, listen, you also... Uh, you've done a Christmas special. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's... Um, and this, all, this also, you know, lines with just what we've talked about there. Yeah. It's... 
it's kind of a very personal journey. Isn't it? it is, yeah. You know, like, you know, I don't want to go on about it too much, but like with, with most Christmas specials, you have to cook for somebody. Yeah. But this was kind of like the Hairy Biker's best ever Christmas, because it was the Christmas I never thought I'd be here for. Right. Yeah, and um, yeah. so it's just a thank you banquet yeah. for people who have helped so much, right. helped both of us. And um, it's, it's really warm and it's honest. Yeah. Um, and oh. I had to learn to walk, I had to learn to ride the motorcycle again. So like the first time out on a bike with me mate, yeah. oh, it was, it was, oh, it was really emotional, wasn't it? It was really wasn't good, yeah, it was really, you know. Really emotional. Um, it's like, you know, I... Right, soppy pair, you two. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, look, you just no, want fishing. Yeah, well, you, <laughs> you're part of a soppy pair as well, I know, aren't you I know. sure? I know. <laughs> called self-deprecation. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, Sai, I've, I've seen you on and off throughout the year at various things. And I know, I can see, you, you find it very hard to do this on your own and to... Well, you, you just, you know, he's my best mate. And we've, yeah. been, we've been, you know, we've known each other for 30 years and cooked, yeah. we've cooked together for 22. Yeah. So it's kind of like, you just feel a little bit odd. It's a lonely, little, you know. So oh, it is never long on this one. No, he's a very sociable Geordie. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. Yeah, well, let's, let's not go down that road. No, no, <laughs> you, you, you carry on cutting the carrot. It looks like that, which is fine. Brilliant. Prove I can do it. OK. There's some spring onions, and we've got some coriander. Oh, and new series out next yeah, year. Yeah, Harry Bikers Go West. Yep. Life is peaceful there, lots of open air. Honestly, oh, on. it is full yeah. on, and it's taken us all my time to stop and dressing up as one of the village people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, you know, stuff like that is fun, isn't it? But we won't have it. Yeah, that's very bad, isn't it, Pat? There you go. Thank you, mate. There's Thank you, mate. Some carrot, some spring onion. Yeah, go on, Matt. A bit of curry. That. OK. And a little more drizzle of the sauce. Here's one more. There you go. Just I'll like pick that. those. You, uh, you do that and I'll pack. Dress that. Uh, as a reminder, you can find all the recipes from today's studio on... Hello, you we. can scan the QR code there, at the end of my hand. I love that when it comes on the end of your hand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it just hangs around on here. <laughs> yeah, but we did it. We always got the wrong hand, didn't we, and did yeah. the other way. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> right, there you go. Do it. I was just reading that. All right, mate. Yeah. <laughs> you all that so it doesn't fall right, over. Okay. Thank you. Great. Right. Last one. Hey, well, right. I'll leave that there so the we're green. not dressing it on the watch. It. They right. like to fall over, don't they? Yeah. They do. Yeah. That's the problem about bow buns. There's Why no, you need to eat them? There's quickly. no bow when it's bun. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> they are really easy to make, actually, from scratch. Very easy. And homemade ones are indeed fabulous. Uh, I'm going I'll, to just. I'm going to walk away from this now because it's just. Yeah. Go on. You can take it over, actually. Um, oh, well, we've got to do a pretty shot. Yeah, oh, hold on. I'll shift that water in a minute. Just, just dribble it's going to be a on. challenge, a pretty shot with you three up there. <laughs> 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 eh? <laughs> OK, remind us what they're called. These are Comfort Sticky Szechuan Lamb Bow Bones. Let's take that one, not that one. With <laughs> carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Incoming. There you go, Paul. Tuck wow. into that. Donna, do you want There you go. Take Thanks. Wowza. Um, oh. You got your wine under there, Paul? Yes, oh, we yeah. have. Yeah, yes, that's right. Oh, you deserve it. Like Thank you very much. Flavour. So this is Waitrose. But all of the young folk <laughs> are taking wine down there. They're quite heavy Pinot Noir. You know, it's at it the was, top end of that, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. I was going to say that. Rising inside. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I love Portugal. I think they're more to Portugal than uh, sun lounges and golf. I would say. I mean, 3,000... We should be going there on holiday. Into, I'm not getting in trouble. <laughs> weren't, weren't they the first uh, large scale for cod? I yes, they I, found a they found the Grand Banks off New, yeah. Newfoundland. Yes, yeah. yeah. They, I think yeah. I'm going with yeah. that. I'm absolutely well there because bacalao. they caught it there and the bacalao, mm. so they salted it to get it. That's there. right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And they yeah. took chilies to Asia. Really? Yeah. It wasn't for yeah. the Portuguese. There'd be no chilies in Asia. Is that right? Like That's off to the Portuguese then, really. Don't yeah. yeah. Tempura as well. They took tem ready tempura. Oh, really? Yeah. You've done a uh, in Portugal, but yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, what do you make of the uh, the combo? You enjoying it? Gosh, it's fantastic. Good, aren't they? Yeah, like Superb. Them. Nice. Like this. Thanks. Absolutely yeah, brilliant. Nice one. Amazing. Well, that, yeah, you take that. Uh, right, time for a oh. delightful dose of oh. wine. Oh, thank you so much. Nice, nice. nice bit of cock. Look at that. Beautiful. Looks wow. too Okay, nice. Ollie, what we got? Kakapo is a parrot, it's a flightless bird, but this is a wine that Ooh. flies. It's a fragrance, Ooh. £6.25. Mm. I just Ooh. think there's like this from Asda, they're doing a cracking job. Good prices, this. Yes. yes. Thank you. Excellent I'm on it. Price work. Excellent price. Excellent price work. Excellent price work. Footwork. Yeah, Cheers. 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 Cheers.
Oh, it's the best. <laughs> Honestly, it really Good. is. Good. Cheers. Thanks Thank you so you. much. Do you want to every week? Guys, uh, yeah. that's all from us today on Saturday Kitchen Life. Thanks to Donna, Cyan Dave, Paul A. Young, Ollie, and of course, Paul Whitehouse. All the recipes from the studio on the website, bbc.co.uk forward slash Saturday Kitchen. I've got more Best Bites you tomorrow morning at 10am on BBC Two, and I'll be back here live next week with the brilliant Bryn Williams. Bye for now.